to the Senior Summit. We're leaving town, baby. Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and I'm here with Steve Goss, and he is associated with Goss Associates Incorporated, and they are a bronze sponsor out at the Senior Summit this year. The Senior Summit will be happening May 18th from 9 to 2 outside of Centerville at the 4-H Fairground. And um, we wanted to talk to him about what services they provide and what information people may be able to find out about your incorporation. Okay. Um, well, thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. This is my second year um, doing this, and I appreciate it very much. Uh, Goss Associates is a full-service brokerage firm where we do mostly life insurance, we do fixed indexed annuities, and we do retirement income planning. Mm -hmm. um, the main office is in Easton, and you know, being a sponsor for the Senior Summit really helps us get the word out to some of the things that we do for the seniors and for the retirement uh, generation, so to speak. Okay. So, um, telephone number, if someone wants to make an appointment to come down to your office in Easton. It's 410-822-2592. Now, if someone does call mm -hmm. and set up an appointment, mm -hmm. what types of things would they need to bring with them to maybe map out a plan or something like that? Well, we would like to see the current in-force or the current life insurance that they have. Um, we would like to see social security statements. Um, we would like to see any type of retirement plans if they would like to have a second opinion. Uh, just so you know that we're not uh, FINRA licensed, so therefore we're not involved in the stock market. All of our products are on the fixed platform. Right. So we're not, you know, like I said, we're not stock jockeys. We're not going to buy and sell stocks or things like that. Um, well, the, in this stage of life, a lot of people like me mm -hmm. <laughs> like to know things are set and that it's going to be there and you're not going to have that volatility in the market. Absolutely, because it's, you know, seniors at this point in their, in their life, they cannot afford any losses. Right. And, you know, if we can stave that off, so to speak, with fixed products, you know, they may not be as high flying as some of the, the investments that they have, but there's no real element of risk. Right. And um, because, like I said, you know, sort of in, we're in the ninth inning, if you will, of our lives in the retirement end. Um, we cannot afford loss. There's no way, we don't have the time value to get it back, you know, and, um, you know, a, a, a downturn in the market or whatever could really wipe out a lot of our savings at this right. point in time. And like I said, you know, loss is something that we cannot afford. Now, why would someone want to do, um, let's say, a CD compared to just using their savings account. What would be the difference in something like that? Is it just that it has to sit in there and they can't touch it? Well, CDs are a bank instrument and they're really not, I wouldn't say they're not performing, but they're, they're historically, because of the low interest rate environment, CDs are, um, they're safe. They're right. in the you're, they're in the bank and you know, FDIC rules and everything you know are associated with that. Um, but I mean, if I was going to talk to somebody about that, I would probably try to tell them not to go into a CD, only for the simple fact that you know because it's a, such a low interest rate environment. You know, yes, your money's safe; you will not lose, but you're not going to get benefits. So if, if they were to take that same money, let's say, and put it into a fixed income annuity or um, you know, an annuity such as that, there are so many different things that can be done through riders like long-term care, critical illness, and things such as that that a CD does not provide. Plus a CD won't, you know, you, you won't be able to turn on your CD to be able to give you annuity payments for the rest of your life. It's sort of like you set it for three years, five years, right. or whatever, and then that's it. You still have to pay tax on your gain. You're going to get a 1099 every year, but um, you know, fixed index annuities offer, um, I, th I think, a better alternative than a CD. Now, the, do they have a penalty then if it's in the annuity? Like if I <coughs> would have something happen and I, let's say my roof leaked mm -hmm. and I have to pull out money to get that fixed. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a penalty then if I'm in an annuity like that? Well, 
primarily you're allowed to take 10% of your money inside the annuity every year without a penalty. Anything above and beyond that would be taxed at ordinary income. Okay. But I mean, it's still, you know, you are still liquid to some degree, you know, even though if you have to pay, you know, the, that penalty, if you will. Right. Um, but that's, what, that's what I sure. would, yeah. But you still will be able to get to your money. It's not right. like you're, you, you know, with a CD, you're going to be, you know, bound and determined for that amount, you know, that, that set time. And there are penalties there as well. Right. Um, so, you know, the it's, 10%... Without a penalty is, is is more attractive. Right. Now you mentioned a rider, long yes. term. What what is that? Okay. I'll, there's a myriad of fixed indexed annuities. There's a ton of different companies that are offering them. Um, the insurance companies have gotten more involved into the long term care end of it because your standalone long term care policies are are falling by the wayside, and they're they're what is happening is it. There's 10,000 seniors retiring every day. Okay. Okay. And so they were the biggest proponent of, you know, putting money into mm -hmm. these programs. And now they're the biggest, you know. Withdrawing. Generation withdrawing. Exactly. And so um, the long-term care insurance, you know, they have priced it for, you know, the same forever. And then they didn't really realize that all of a sudden there's going to be this giant run on the money, so to speak, where if there is a long-term care event and everything, you know, they're gonna need that. And so the life insurance companies came in, they've got life insurance, uh, your standalone universal life um, policies will have a long-term care rider, and then fixed indexed annuities have also come into, into favor because they'll have riders on them for critical illness or long-term care, plus if you become disabled during the withdrawal period, they can double and sometimes triple your monthly payment okay. for long-term care planning. All right. Now, what when you're saying long-term care, what does that entail? That entails if you're not able to uh, perform two of your ADLs, which is the activities of daily living, which are I should know these, but um, you know, bathing, uh, continence, feeding, mobility. Um, etc. Okay. Okay. So if you're not able to perform two of those, that is considered a long-term care event, and oh, therefore okay. they will, they will in turn now, you know, those riders will kick in and they will afford you that okay. bonus, if you will. So if someone wanted to come to your office, yes. where are you located? What's the address? It's eight six zero three Commerce Drive, number nine in Easton. Okay. And then. Um, we're www.gossassociates.com. So, you know, I would urge people if they're thinking about doing any type of retirement planning to go to the website to take a look at it and see the the things that we offer, the the plans and um, the things that we offer because you'll be able to get a good you know list of what it is that Goss Associates does and if it's something that you're interested in, obviously right. you'll be able to read it, get a little bit of an education before you call. Because I know it's it, it's difficult to do that. It's sort of you know you, you realize that you have to do something, but it's there's always it's overwhelming. Correct, and it's so hard just to start it. You know, it's sort of like this big thing looming. It's like the gorilla in the room. We know it's there. We have to do something about it. Let's you know, it's the first step. You have to take that first step. We don't bite. You know. Right. Well, I I mean <clears throat> I'm fortunate enough. I have my mother who's in her 80s. And so I know she has money that she had to withdraw, she said, when she was like 72. So I'm like, okay, what was it you had to take out right. and how did all that work? But in the meantime, you know, things change and laws change. Right. So it, it is, you, you try to get information from as many different sources Correct. as you can. I mean, we're, we're also, you know, of the firm believer that, you know, having a, a second opinion is is good because not everybody has you know the silver bullet because some you know if you went to to somebody that was you know trying to push variable annuities and things like that you know that they may sound good at the at the onset but you know like i said if you're still in the market that's it's really not 
a great plan to have at this point in time because of the losses or the, the potential of losses. And I think what you were talking about with your mother, it was at age 70, she probably had to do RMDs, which would be required minimum distributions, and that would be anything on a 401k, 403b, IRAs, and things like that. The, we call them the alphabet soups, the 401s and the, you know, the things okay. out there. And those are plans that the government, you know, you're allowed to take a bit off of your taxes yeah. when you Tax add annuity. into it. Yeah. Right. And then uh, the, the money will grow tax deferred inside of it but it's actually really tax postponed. Right. Because at, at the end of it all, you, you, know, you can't keep that money in there growing forever because Uncle Sam needs his taxes. So at age 70, the required, required minimum distribution, it's the government telling you, you have to take this amount We out. want our taxes on that money yeah, now. We, we are, yeah, yeah, we're not taking it with yeah. you and <laughs> we're, taking, we're getting ours now. And it's a step up every year. Right. Well, we know you're going to have information out at the summit for people, and hopefully they'll give you a call and, you know, come down to the office and visit and find out what they need to do to have things in order. And, you know, it, it isn't something you want to just put off and put off because then your loved ones, are, you know, may not have the money to bury you or whatever it is. Absolutely. And, and, and those things happen. They're, they're real life. Well, what we basically say in the, in the business is people don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. Yes. And I see it every day. You know, when I'm going, I sit down with people and they're going, well, what about retirement? And I'm like, okay, well, what about retirement? Have you done anything to do, you know, to secure your retirement? And they're like, no, but we're planning on it. And Depending on their age, I mean, yeah. it's, you know, it, it has to be addressed, you know. And a lot of people, it, it's difficult because when you're young and you have a family and you have children and you're going here and Your there and everywhere. Your priorities are, right, yeah, you, they're not there. You're, you're not thinking of retirement. You're thinking of how am I going to get through the day to day and with my children and then you know then there's the college and then there you know then marriages come and there's monies and there's everything you know and i mean it's just the trappings of life you know start early is oh, yeah. obviously the best you know but if you if you can't you know we have ways to help you and you know please don't feel that you're stuck in a box and will not be able to do anything because there are a lot of things out there that can afford you um, you know, a, a decent retirement, a good retirement for right. you going forward. Well, we thank you for coming in and hopefully people will give you a call and, you know, make an appointment. Well, that would be great. And thank you very much for allowing me to chat with you today. All righty. We'll see you again. Thanks so much. Friday, May 18th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Queen Anne's County 4-H Park. Whee! Whee!